If your car has a turbocharger, you might worry about a boost leak. This issue can start small but may lead to serious problems if not addressed. It's important to recognize the common signs of a boost leak and learn how to detect it. This guide will explain what a boost leak is, help you identify its symptoms, and show you how to locate it. What's a boost leak? A boost leak happens when air that passes the MAF sensor doesn't make it into the combustion chamber in a turbocharged or supercharged car. The leak is typically found between the turbocharger and the intake manifold, where air escapes instead of being directed into the engine. Non-forced induction vehicles can also experience air leaks, but these are less common. This is because the intake system in these cars doesn't face as much strain, so the seals and clamps tend to last longer and wear out less often. Now let's take a closer look at the symptoms of a boost leak. Turbo lag. A turbocharger works by pushing more air into the cylinder, which boosts both performance and horsepower. However, the turbine needs to spin quickly before the turbocharger starts providing these benefits. Until this happens, the turbocharger doesn't enhance the car's performance. The delay before the turbocharger becomes effective is called turbo lag. This is the time it takes for the turbo to spool air and send it into the cylinder. If the process takes longer than usual, it might indicate a boost leak. Interestingly, diesel engines tend to experience turbo lag more often than gas-powered engines. High fuel consumption. When more fuel is added to the engine than necessary, it can result in reduced gas mileage. If you're not keeping a close watch, this change might be hard to spot. However, those who carefully track how far their car travels per gallon will likely notice the decline. Regardless of whether you realize it, the impact will be felt in your wallet with increased costs at the gas station. Rough idle. When the air and fuel in the engine are out of balance, performance problems can occur, such as a rough idle. Normally, the engine idles between 600 and 1000 RPMs, or revolutions per minute. If the idle speed fluctuates or behaves unpredictably, a boost leak could be the cause. In more extreme cases, this erratic behavior might even lead to the engine stalling. Black smoke from the exhaust. The mass airflow, or MAF, sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine. If there's a leak between the sensor and the engine, some of the air is lost. This causes an incorrect air fuel mixture because the ECU relies on the faulty data from the MAF sensor. As a result, the engine ends up with a rich mixture, which means too much fuel is present. This unburned fuel produces black smoke from the exhaust, especially during acceleration. Apart from being unpleasant to see, this black smoke is harmful to the environment. Decreased acceleration. A turbocharger compresses air and sends it into the engine where it mixes with fuel to generate more power. However, if there's a leak in the system and air escapes, the turbo can't deliver the power it should. When you press the accelerator, you might notice slower acceleration or reduced performance compared to what you're used to. There may even be a noticeable loss of power at critical moments when it's needed the most. Check engine light. No matter how minor the boost leak, your check engine light is likely to activate. In fact, this warning light may appear even before other symptoms show up, signaling an issue early on. When using a code scanner, you might encounter these diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs. However, simply spotting a specific trouble code doesn't always pinpoint the exact problem you'll need to pair the codes with the symptoms you're observing and perform further diagnostic checks to identify the root cause. How to find a boost leak. There are several simple ways to locate a boost leak, and you don't need to be a mechanic to try them. These are the same methods professional technicians often use. Start by scanning the system for trouble codes. If you're unsure what the codes mean, you can look them up in an online DTC library. In some cases, the codes alone can help identify the issue. Next, perform a visual inspection. Examine the parts and hoses for any cracks or damage. If you find the problem, replace the faulty components. You can also try to locate the leak by listening for it. A high-pitched hissing sound may point to escaping air. If you can hear the general area of the leak but still can't pinpoint it, grab a spray bottle filled with soapy water, spray the suspected area, and watch for bubbles forming, which reveal where the air is leaking. If none of these steps help you find the leak, it's a good idea to take your car to a mechanic. Avoid driving until the issue is properly addressed.